What's good? This is Trey. Welcome to this presentation. Today I want to talk about how to become a happy masculine man. All right? How to be a masculine man, but also be a happy one, a joyful one, a positive one. You know, when you decide to start living, like really living, going after what you want, you know, facing your fears, you know, being assertive, you know, pushing through adversity or obstacles or barriers that get in your way. Like to be a, a masculine man, to me, it means you know what you want and you're, you're willing to, to be challenged by, you know, the opposition, by, you know, other people challenged by life. You know, life's going to throw different things at you. But you enjoy the process of just exerting your masculine energy towards your goals, man. You want you got to fall in love with that process. You got to fall in love with being a man. You know, that's what's going to make you happy. You start moving forward. You know what your goals are. You know exactly what you want. You know the type of money you want to make. You will know the type of life you want to live. You know the type of woman or women you want to have. Whatever it is, man. And you just start going for it. And you understand that it's, you know, it's not going to be easy. It's not so, you know, it, it, as I said, it's going to be challenging. You're going to have obstacles. You're going to have barriers. But you enjoy the challenge. That's what it means to be a masculine man. You seek the challenge. You enjoy it. Because when you overcome these challenges and you achieve the goal, it, it feels great. But it's not just about achieving the goal. It's about the process and the journey of it. Because it's the man you become, the different milestones you hit along the way, the things you learn about yourself, you know, the, the people you meet, the experiences you have. Like, you just got to be grateful for the whole entire experience. You can't just be so focused on, I need to get this thing, and that's when I'll be happy. That's not, that's, that's a lie, right? You're going to get that thing, and you may be happy for a moment, but then it's going to be the next thing, and then the next thing, and then the next thing, and it's never going to end. So, to me... If you want to be happy, you got to be happy right now. You got to find reasons to be happy right now, right? This moment, there's there's an action you can take that's going to make you feel better about yourself, feel better about life. Take that action. And a lot of times, it's probably that action that you're resisting, that thing you're afraid to do. That's what's going to bring you joy. Living a life of faith where your faith your belief in yourself is greater than your fear. That's when you'll be happy. If you're living in fear, if you're afraid of doing certain things and you're not doing it, how can you be happy? You're resisting life. You're holding your own self back from certain experiences of life. How can you be happy? Happiness is living, fully living, full acceptance of everything that happens in your life and doing the best that you can and being faithful taking risk, stepping into the unknown, doing things you normally wouldn't do, having conversations you normally wouldn't have, being okay with rejection, being okay with failure, knowing that these are just little things that happen in life, but life goes on. There's no rejection or any failure that you can't handle, bro. It's just a, like, a, it should be like a little, you know, you want to get to the point where it has no effect on you, but at the most, it should be like a little pluck you know, of course, nobody likes to get rejected. Like, if, if somebody says no, you know. But the, at the most, it should just feel like a little pluck. It shouldn't be this big thing. You know, that's, that's an unhealthy relationship with rejection and failure. Because, look, these things are part of life. Everyone is getting rejected. Everyone is going through failure. They're just not broadcasting it. They're not showing that. Right? What do people do? They show their highlights. They show all the good things that are happening. They don't tell you what's going on behind the scenes. They don't tell you that they're actually miserable. They put a smile on their face and pretend that they're happy, but a lot of times they're not. And why is that? Because they're not really living. They're not really going for what they want. They're not really, you know, you want a certain uh, career. You're not, they're not really going for that career. Or they want a certain type of relationship. They're not going for that relationship. They're settling. You're not going to be happy if you settle. You got to go for what you want. And as I said, it is going to be challenging. That's why most people stay in their comfort zone because they're afraid of the challenge. But to me, the masculine man says, I seek challenge because this is an opportunity for me to exert my masculine energy and show what I'm made of. And I enjoy that. That's what makes me happy. 
So we got to fall in love with being a man. We got to fall in love with being masculine, being assertive, being proactive, being bold, being courageous, being faithful, having, being able to express unconditional love. That's a very, to me, that's a very manly characteristic. It's not easy to express unconditional love. We all have conditions. Or oh, that person needs to be nice to me first. That person needs to do this first. No, what if you just gave love unconditionally to everyone? What would, what would you attract in your life? I have some amazing conversations and meet some great people because I just give love unconditionally. And what does that allow? That allows connections to happen. It allows me to connect with others, connect with the universe, right? Because I'm given positive, positive energy. And there's a, um, a snowball effect, effect. When you, when you brighten up somebody's day by, by sharing love, sharing good energy, then they take that energy and they, they uh, transfer it to someone else and that keeps going. And it started with you. And that's, to me, that's happiness, man. When you know that you have the power to change someone's life, to, to make, put a smile on someone's face, that's happiness. You want to be happy, you got to make others happy. You got you to gotta live a, a, a joyful life. You got to live a life of positivity. Don't accept negativity. When you see your mind going negative, don't accept it. Reframe it right away. How can I see this in a positive light? Right? So to me, being a, a, a happy masculine man is about living the life you truly want to live, doing the things you truly want to do, overcoming your fears, you know, stepping into the unknown, you know, being faithful, going for exactly what you want. Don't limit yourself. Go for exactly what you want and enjoy the challenges because the challenges is what strengthen your character and look at the growth. Watch the growth. Keep your eyes open and pay attention. You are growing. You're evolving. When you keep moving forward, you're getting better. And you just got to keep going. And then, like I said, enjoy it. Don't, don't uh, be one of those people that's waiting for something to happen to be happy. Because you're going to be waiting your whole life, man. You're going to live a life of regret. Don't live a life of regret. Be happy right now. Find a way to be happy right now. What can you do? What is something that's going to that's gonna bring joy to you right now? You know, maybe it's going out and making somebody's day. Maybe it's calling somebody that you're supposed to, that you know you need to call. Maybe it's um, setting some uh, time aside and reading a book you always wanted to read. You never got a chance to read it. Or maybe it's going and doing a meditation. Whatever it is. Or maybe you getting a workout in that makes you happy. Like, do the things that make you happy, man. You know, and, and, and those things that you're afraid to do. I'm going to tell you, this is a big part, I believe. Those things you're afraid to do, man. That's on the other side of that fear, I'm telling you, is joy. Those things you're afraid to do, start doing those things, man. Stop running away from your fears. Stop resisting life. Life wants you to be happy. I believe life wants you to be happy, but I promise you, you pay attention, you're resisting something. You're resisting an opportunity for a great experience right now. You got to drop that resistance and you got to come to get to a place of full acceptance. And I saw us talking about in a past video, the video I did yesterday about unconditional love. You got you to gotta just have love for life. Life will give, show you love if you give love first. Right? And that means having acceptance. Acceptance for everything that comes your way. And, and, and seeing things with a positive lens. A positive lens. All right? That's the advice for today. If you're a man watching this, and you like to become more grounded in your masculinity. You like to become more confident, uh, more assertive, more authentic in your expression, more of a leader. You want to create more wealth. You want to cultivate more power. You want to attract more women. Join the masculine throne. I'll drop a link to the group in the comment section. And I'll see you inside. Peace.